Yo, what's up guys and welcome to part 9 of my VGC Road to Rank where we climb the online ladder and we use uh, a different team every three days. Today we're going to be using the, well, it's the final, it's the final, final, final day of the uh, Tapu Koko um, Winsicott team with fake tears that my boy Jamie Keen passed me. I'm not very good with it. I'm currently, I think, 1-3. So today's a redemption episode. I got to go 2-0 and so I can go positive. Otherwise, we went negative with this team. doesn't really matter, personally. It's just on the ladder. It's best of one. But it's still, like, for me, I'm learning from every single loss. And I'm seeing what I should have done. And hopefully you guys are learning as well, or at least enjoying it as we go. But if you guys want to check out any of my previous episodes, there's a playlist down below. I encourage you to check that out. Also, if you want to pick up the Pokemon D Beanie, you can. Though maybe after watching me play VGC, you don't want it. <laughs> uh, but let's just go ahead and look for a battle. Yeah, we, we are really low on the battle, man. 19 battles total, and I am just not doing well. Kelly about to beat me down, too. Let's see what she got. Garchomp, Ninetales, Muck, Arcanine, Feeny, Porygon. So, okay. Uh, again, Jamie told me that Whimsicott, Tapu Koko, always the best lead. But let's think about what I got in the back. I definitely like Celesteela. Um, Feeny can lose to it. Porygon can potentially lose to it. Muck, Garchomp, Ninetales, beats them all. Secondary Mon, I'm leaning more towards Politoed than Salamence, I want to say. Politoed has Encore, uh, has Parasong, also makes that Celesteela can deal with Arcanine, and gives me 100% accurate Thunder, so I think we're going to go that route. I don't, I'm, it's tough for me to know when to bring Salamence. I feel like I should have brought it last time in last episode, and at least versus the Sand Team, or at least bring Politoed versus that. That would have made more sense, but I think that Whimsicott with Tapu Koko, and as long as I get some plays right, this is the redemption episode, man. This is the redemption episode. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to predict when they're going to protect. I'm going to see what they're going to do, and we're going to play off that. So, again, we're going to try and win and uh, do our best this episode. <laughs> or just completely lose. Just completely lose. But let's see. I'm thinking that's going to be um, Garchomp plus Ninetales. I lead something like that versus me. Maybe Arcanine. So we get Whimsicott Coco out. Garchomp. Arcanine is also another one. Feeny Arcanine. Alright, so Feeny's 100% going to switch, right? Feeny's 100%. This is one of those turns where, thank God, like, he led this. Because my opponent's already in a bad position from turn one. Feeny has to switch out or protect. And I think I'm going to... It's already confirmed not Scarf Arcanine because Lush Train went first. I'm going to definitely... Fake Tears into Gigavolt Havoc into Arcanine. That should knock it out despite Misty Terrain. Feeny should protect here or switch out into Garchomp. So we're going to Fake Tears into Arcanine. And we're going to Gigavolt Havoc directly into it. I pray I don't regret this. Even if Arcanine protects, um, I still get off about a little bit. Just a little bit. And like on it with the uh, Thunder, I'm going to say like Z-Thunder does about... It's going to do like, it's going to leave Arcanine about 75%, right? Because it does 25% of the damage it would have done, but I'm pretty sure it's going to leave Arcanine around 75%. And from there, I can always Walter Town the Pi Toad. So Feeny protects. Okay, so I got that right. I got that right. All right, so I got one play right for once in my life. So this should mean that Arcanine will die. This is a Gigavolt Havoc. Obviously, it's not Electric Terrain boosted. Unless it's Assault Vest, it should mean that Arcanine goes down. Also, one less Mon to deal with my Parasong. So let's just hope that Gigavolt Havoc knocks it out. It's a Z-move. These things are broken. What, what's the base power of this? 180? 190? It might as well be 10 million right now because it's Arcanine about to drop. Good. B. That boy is gone. All right. Arcanine gone. Only Pokemon on my opponent's team that deals with Celestilla. Gone. Completely gone. And Feeny cannot protect next turn. So, Feeny's going to switch out. That's obvious. Uh, we're going to fake tears, muck, and volt switch on it. Feeny's 100% going to switch out. There's no way you stay in. It's going to reveal Garchomp in the back too, I bet. So, we're going to fake tears, muck, and volt switch into it. That way, it gives me uh, Celestilla in or Politoed versus whatever my opponent sends in. It's Garchomp, yeah. I was also thinking about fake tearing the Feeny and Dazzling Gleaming, expecting Garchomp, but I think this is better. Oh, yeah, it's a dark type and it can't be hit by prankster moves. What is wrong with me? I'm so bad. I gotta remember that, man. I don't use prankster mods in this generation. Okay, so this lets me reset 
the um, this lets me reset the electric terrain. So I'm I'm bad. I I hate when I lose turns from that, but I get this turn right anyway. Uh, so we're actually going to protect Whimsicott because I would think that Garchomp would protect here or reveal that has Poison Jab. We're gonna Leech Seed into Coco. I don't think that or into Muck. I don't think that Garchomp is that big of a threat. Because I have Celestilla. He could also Rock Slide if he Scarf. Fire Fangs immediately. What does that tell me about this? SD Fire Fang? Why do so much? And he's going to Poison Jab into my... He should Poison Jab into my Whimsicott. Yep. Alright, so I mean... I got a decent amount off from this turn. And we'll Tailwind this turn in just... Uh, I'll tell one up to ensure that my uh, everything Coco out speeds just in case this is Scarf Chomp. And we'll just Leech Seed into Gar Chomp as well. We'll get as much recovery as possible. I could also protect this turn. But I'm thinking he's still going to attack my Whimsicott. This should activate my Berry. I'm thinking. Nope. Nice. So I get nothing out of this turn but a Tailwind up. <laughs> the fact that I can't tell when that boy is huge, man. The fact that I can't, like, attack him is huge. Like, I can't uh, go for my main attack versus him is big. I'm pretty sure Garchomp's going to switch out or protect. I don't want to lose to his last few months. I'm going to Moonblast into this and Thunder into Muck. I think Archon's going to switch out to Feeny. I would anyway, if I was my opponent. Maybe, uh, that was probably not the wrong play, the right play. I think Fake Tears into Dazzling Gleam would have been better. But I think losing to Muck is very much possible. I really wish he didn't flinch me at least. I would have gotten off a Leech Seed on Garchomp. Let's see how much this does. This is Electric Terrain boosted. Ah, I just barely missed out on the KO. It would have been so good if it knocked it out. But you wouldn't Earthquake right here, would you? Is that ban- like, I, I don't think you'd Earthquake right here. Unless you want to KO your own Mon. You just Tectonic Rage. So, I'm gonna lose. I didn't even think about Tectonic Rage when I saw Fire Fang. This is SD Fire Fang. Um... Earthquake protect. I should have just... Because <sighs> he would have poison jabbed into my Whimsicott. Like, it still would have been tough, but I would have at least gotten off a little bit of chip damage with the Dazzling Gleam to maybe Scald into Thunder and knock out the Muck. But now it's over. Because he poison jabs into me and I lose. Man, I'm so bad. <laughs> like, I'm actually getting frustrated at myself. I need to think more about what my plays are doing in the long run of things. Like, like, obviously, if I got rid of Muck right there, it would be a lot easier for me. Because then I could just Parish Song. And because Polytoad is the slowest Pokemon in the field, I would win the game. And I could always Moonblast into whatnot. But we're just going to run right here. There's no point. That game's over. I'm going to learn from this. I know that's something you're going to hear a lot. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys enjoy me getting blown away. I'm sorry, Jamie, bro. I should have gotten you on this episode with me. Oh, but I'm going to get... It's already really late, so I know you wouldn't be able to record at the time that I'm recording right now. But it would have at least helped you or helped me understand the team. Like, I do better with a team when I practice with it a bit on the ladder. I'm not, I haven't practiced with these teams. All right. Ah! I'm getting frustrated. But yeah, I... I also need to remember how Prankster works versus Dark type. Like, if it was a single battle, I could tell you, okay, I can't use a Prankster mom move versus that. But, I don't know, something about, like, now I'm placing, now I'm fighting 1456. Uh, I don't even know what to think about my opponent's team. We only, like, normal, just attack what's in front of us. I don't even know how much I like Marrow in this, man. Sustilla doesn't do much. I mean, Sustilla can leech seed. 
I think fake tears, Top of Coco is going to be my way of going. Uh, Celestial still deals with Salamence as well as potentially Beware, uh, Snorlax to an extent. Uh, and we still need Marowak just because of the uh, Coco. I know I've been like leading with those the entire time. Um... <laughs> Yo, I can't, I can't get over how much I'm losing. I really can't. I want to win this game. I really want to win this game, man. Is it? Is it not? Is name David? Is it not David? It's David, like David, like that. How you pronounce it? David Min. David Min. David M. It's, it's an M there. I don't know why I'm giving him like what I'm trying to decipher his last name or anything like that. I need my Oricorio. I just set up and win. I don't even have to kick buttons. Oricorio attacks anyway. Boy takes the uh, the quiver dance. Boy takes the uh, the pedal dance. My goal is though, like personally, to um, obviously get on like the level of like I want to say Cybertron and Wolf when they come to at least commentating these because they obviously think through their plays. They say when they make assumptions on what their opponent's gonna do, they get it right as well. That's another thing. Um, and I definitely want to be on that level. I know I'm capable of playing VGC. I'm that showed it at the regional. I went six and two. And I was one double uh, protect away from beating Ray Rizzo. Like, I know I'm capable of at least of doing best of three. Because I take information and I play based on that. Like, I, I, But this is harder. Is that regular Silvalli? I'm just going to fake tears, beware, and, and dazzling gleam. Like, I don't think I lose anything from that. What type of Silvalli is that? Normal. Yep. So we're going to Dazzling Gleam and Fake Tears that Beware. This is guaranteed damage. Should have done it last turn. Um, he doesn't have any switch-ins really on his team anyway. Like Coco coming out, that doesn't matter. Feeny, that'll matter. Mence, like none of it. He has no switch-ins for this team. And Silvali, unless it explodes, what if he explodes? What if he's actually Choice Man Explosion? He just protects with Beware. No. No, 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 no choice banks. Okay. Oof. Don't want to see no protects there. I do not want to see any protects there. This should knock out Beware, right? It doesn't have good speed death. It has good HP, though. All right, Beware is gone. Nice. Don't explode. I mean, if you're going to explode, do it now. So I got to deal with you. Flamethrower. That's fine. Whatever. It's not going to knock me out. That almost knocked me out. That's Life Orb Silvali. Too bad you don't got extreme speed, bro. As a life orb so valley. So I do get my Parish Song up. Um, or my Hotel went up, and I should be able to get a, a Parish Song as well. Especially because he went top of Feeny here. I don't think Feeny's a threat. Like, personally. I'm going to Volt Switch on the Silvali to ensure that I get up um, my Terrain again. And we're going to Tailwind right now. I think that Feeny would protect here. What? It's not, is it over? That'd be David. Or David. 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 I'm not ending it there. Even if that's a win, that doesn't count. I mean, it counts, but it doesn't count. I love how these last episodes always turn into me doing like three different battles. And I'm going to lose the last one. But I'm going to try and win. We're going to gain. We're going to try and take into account this losing. And we're going to try and win right now, I swear. 11 and 10, that's what I'd like to see. <laughs> the Aether Foundation music. This music clean. Sixteen sixty eight, Ludicolo seven. So we're gonna fight a good opponent. Who has Gashard on? I actually like Salamence a lot in this game. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to leave Salamence plus uh, Inver Intimidate for, Ludico, uh, for Lucario. Um, I can fake tears Draco into or Guru. I have Intimidate for Snorlax. Uh, Whimsicott in the back, definitely. Or Whimsicott in the front. Don't like Coco as much. Wow, but I still like the Gigavolt Havoc, though, so I'm going to keep Coco. Um, Celestilla. I mean, Rain, I think, I think Politoed plus Coco is the way to go. I uh, get my rain in the back for his son. Yeah, I can't deal much with Gastrodon, but 
Ideally, I fake tears into Draco and just knock it out turn one. Uh, same thing with Oranguru. Like, I'm thinking I just fake tears Draco. So we're actually bringing Salamis this time. Let's see if we can do something. Uh, Lucario does get follow me. I've seen Rock Slide. I've seen Final Gambit. I've seen a whole bunch of things like that. Oranguru, Lucario. Get off an early Intimidate. And ideally be able to stop a Trick Room. I don't think I was stopping Trick Room anyway. So because he's more than likely going to go for the Fake Tears... Uh, you know what? Follow me doesn't matter. I'm a Draco and I'm a Draco into Oranguru and I'm a fake tears anyway. Even if you follow me, it's still gonna knock out Lucario and it's still the same position anyway. But I don't know. Would I, Lucario even stay in and do that? Would it follow me right now when you have a Salamence with Intimidate off on you? All right. So e either way, like I said, this this uh, fake tears into Draco should still be able to knock it out. I think anyway. Oh, I didn't knock him out, but it, at least he gets a trick room for me, which is cool. I'm gonna just flamethrower into Lucario and protect. I don't want to lose my uh, Whimsicott. I don't want him psychicing into it. And Flamethrower will be able to knock out Lucario anyway. And if he goes Torkoal, I have Polyton in the back for the rain. Like, I definitely don't want to lose Whimsicott because I think the, uh, the fake tears is going to be like my main way of winning this. And there's four more turns of Trick Room after this. Even if Torkoal comes out after, afterwards, like after this, I can always go Polyton, get up the rain, and Hydro Pump into Torkoal. Yeah, follow me is fine. I don't care about that. What is that? Okay. You already gave me one finger, bro. I was already following you. I swear I was following you already. <laughs> uh, so, I guess he's just trying to get in Torkoal right now. But we get rid of Lucario. I'm assuming Torkoal is going to come out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hydro Pump into Torkoal and go Polytoad with my, um, with my Whimsicott. Yep, there's a Torkoal. So we'll be able to cancel out that rain. And assuming Hydro Pump connects, I think even though it is minus two, it should still be able to kill. And I'm a Salt Vest, so I don't care about Torkoal. So we're going to Hydro Pump into Torkoal and go Whimsicott into Polytoad. Get at that rain, cancel out the eruption, which he's probably just going to instruct himself to do. Which will definitely not be able to deal with either Polytoad and my Assault Vest, nor my Assault Vest, um, nor my Assault Vest Salamence. He just eruptions, yep. It's not going to do anything. Yum. Alright, I think we win this game. I, please connect, please, please, please connect. Please connect. Please connect and actually knock him out. That's another thing, right? Because I know Gastrodon's in the back. All right, knock him out. Even if they sassy. All right, that's worked. That works too. That did nothing. I'm bulldoze here. Did nothing. <laughs> I know Torko's switching out. I'm gonna switch out my Salamence. I wanna reset it. And I'm getting in my uh, Whimsicott now. And I'm gonna Encore the... Uh... I'm going Encore. Oranguru. I almost lost my time. I was thinking about going out to Coco there. I know for a fact this is about to be Gastrodon. And I want it to reset, yep. So, I Encore Oranguru, um, though it probably has Mental Herb. 
And there's one more China check room after this. This is why I want to go Coco because I can gigavolt havoc into Oranguru. That's fine though. Oh, my protect is the one that went off. Okay, this works. So we fake tears into Oranguru. And I think we go Coco here. We keep Palito alive. Once I get rid of one member, like Gastron, I can't kill. But once I get rid of one member, we're good. And this is the last turn of Trickum. So Protect worked, but I wanted to get in my Coco there because I knew I would live every hit. I knew Gastron was coming out, and I could Protect in the following turn while fake tearing, and then just Z into uh, Oranguru and get rid of it. But I know I should be able to win this game. In theory, I win this game. Go ahead and get my defense raised. Let's go. All right, we drop Oranguru right there. Side shot. It's not going to do anything because we get a defense raise. Sludge Bomb is definitely going to knock me out, though. However, we get in Polito right here. And we get to click Parish Song. And just Gigavolt Havoc into Oranguru. Because, I guess I could have Protect, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. This does enough. That definitely does enough. Like, this this will do enough through. Like, enough to knock him out with Thunder afterwards. And plus, he's stuck in here anyway. I just got to be careful about, because Gastrodon is a giant threat. I got to be careful about the Gastrodon, man. Mm, this is going to be tough. This is going to be an annoying end game. How much is this going to do, anyway? That's through electric terrain. Oh my god. Oh, that's a crit. Did not have a berry, either. Sludge Bomb shouldn't knock out Coco. Earth Power might. Is it Specs? Don't be Specs. Don't knock me out, bro. Don't get the poison. No! I lose because he just switches out Gastron now. I could have won there. I could have switched out Polytoad, attacked the Oranguru with Salamence, and then Parasong after. That's so annoying, man. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. All right, Gastron has to switch out. We're just going to Scald into Oranguru. Hmm. If he didn't get the poison, I think I won. Because I would Voltwitch on Oraguru, get in my Salamence, right? And then I could reset Polytoad and switch it back into Parasol again and win with Salamence. Just Encore Gastrodon and then just like... I don't know, Draco and Oraguru. He's just going to switch out Gastrodon, though. That's a smart play. I, won I think I won this game, man. I legitimately think I won this game. And I think the poison took it from me. It, it would have been close, but I think the poison did take it from me. That makes me sad. Maybe Draco can still crit everything. Who knows? Because the reason I would have to reset Palito is because Torkoal is slower than it, and same thing with Gastrodon. There's nothing I could do here. I gotta protect Palito, I guess, and because I can't attack, I just Draco crit. I have to Draco crit into Gastrodon to win. Come on, Draco. Crit and kill. Crit and kill. That's the only way I win. Go for it. Come on, Draco. 
I love Salamence. Go ahead and crit. I mean, that that's still in range of a crit. I might live one, but... <laughs> it crits me. Nice. So I think if I crit, I won. Um, and I think if you didn't poison me, I won too, because I'm pretty sure that's... Isn't that Specs Gash? I want to say it's Specs. I want to say it's Specs Gash, on, but... There's no point. I'm going to scroll Torkoal even though Gashadon's just going to absorb it with its ability. That really does make me sad, man. I really think I played it to have the win at the end. It's not Specs. Just offensive. Well, that's a game. That really disappoints me. I can't get over how disappointing that is to me. Because I would Volt Switch, right? I would Volt Switch on Oranguru. I would call back Polytoad into... I would call back Polytoad into... Um, I would call back Polytoad into Salamence. Get that in. Get in my um, Polytoad the next turn. Then switch out Salamence into Coco on the Ice Beam. Perish Song. And then... I, I guess it still would have been close. But I think that... I think that it definitely was possible without the uh, Sludge Bomb Poison. But we're going to leave it there, guys. So unfortunately, we lost again with this team. Sad. But I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Um, definitely check out the playlist down below. We'll have a new team coming tomorrow. So goodbye, friends.